What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Matthew Shack live here in Los Angeles. And welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. The Will Smith and Chris Rock debacle. And tra I should call it a tragedy because that's what it is, really. Uh, it's still going on. It's still being talked about because now the legal ramifications are coming into play. And, you know, a lot of people might be tired of it, but you being tired of something don't have anything to do with the legal system. And uh, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, can even though Chris Rock and salute to Chris Rock, man, for not being a snitch. OK. Uh, decided not to press charges. Uh, should the LAPD still go and arrest Will Smith for assault and battery? Now, I have a criminal justice degree, a bachelor's, bachelor's of science degree and was going to be a police officer, man. But I wasn't well versed enough to really be able to give that opinion. So I got on the phone and I called somebody who I know is an expert when it comes to what a police person or police officer. I'm just trying to be I'm just trying to be co politically correct here. OK, police officer um, would. uh would do and what the rights of Will Smith would be into this circumstance. And that was my father. My father was a former uh, police officer, former deputy sheriff uh, here in California where the rules will apply. So I called on the phone and I called him. I talked to him about everything. I talked to him about how he felt about the situation, how, how it affected black people and the black perception and all of that kind of stuff, which I'll, may or may not get into in another video because that was for me really me and his grandson to know but i asked him i said hey dad i know you know this because you were a police officer should the lapd arrest chris i mean arrest will smith you know even though chris rock decided not to press charges because that's something that can happen and i was surprised my father said no i was like well why not if anybody else on the street, if if Joe Blow walked up to, uh, you know, Will Johnson and slapped slapped the fire out of his ass, he'd get arrested. And my father said. These guys are public figures. That's the difference. Everybody involved is a public figure. Now. The first thing that us as people would think is what's the difference? Why, why is it different for them than it is for us? OK, and I asked that question. I said, well, what's the difference? Assault's an assault. You hit somebody, you hit somebody. You hit somebody in front of millions and billions of people. My father said, well, when you are a public figure, you're already um, you already should know. And if you don't know, you have people to tell you that you have less of a private life than average person, okay? My father said, you should not uh, expect a level of privacy in public. Meaning, if you do something out on the street and everybody sees it, you don't get to say, hey man, that's my business, okay? That's first and foremost. You don't get to say that, man. Whatever happens in private, happens in private. You have a reasonable expectation of privacy when you're in your private setting, when you're in your house, when you're in your, you know, supposedly in your bedroom or whatever the case may be. That's why here in California, you just can't record people's conversations and put it out. You can't do what they call sexual revenge, sexual uh, uh, um, exploitation, put videos out of other people, what they do behind closed doors and all that kind of stuff. It's illegal here in California, man, because this is where the industry is. This is where the entertainment industry is. You can't do that here. That's a felony. So. You should not expect a reasonable expectation of privacy in a public setting. And if you're a public figure, it's even more that. So Will Smith, public figure. My father, this is when my father broke it down. Will Smith, public figure. OK, Chris Rock, public figure. Jada Pinkett Smith, public figure. Now, if Chris Rock would have pressed charges because LAPD did ask him, hey, Chris, we're here for you. We're here to protect and serve. What do you want to do? He said, nah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm good. That nullifies that. OK, so in that particular situation, 
Now, if the district attorney decides to go ahead and press charges against Will Smith, you will see Will Smith and his attorney telling themselves he's going to turn himself in and all that kind of stuff. But that's very unlikely because what a lot of people don't understand is that this is Los Angeles, man. There has been bigger scandals than this. We understand it was the Oscars. We understand that it was the biggest night uh, in the history of, 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 um, of entertainment. OK, but the, 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 the bureaucracy, the political climate and the Los Angeles Police Department also understand that this is a tourist area. Tourism. The entertainment business, which pays a lot of money in taxes, pays a lot of money in location fees. A lot of money is being spent on all these productions, the businesses, the hotels, the restaurants. That's a lot to do with why it probably is just going to get swept under the rug, man, unless the D.A. was trying to get reelected or he understands that the climate is in his favor. And uh, then maybe something to happen. But this whole situation is uh, not going to go any way. But at the end of the day, I think both of them are going to win. Chris Rock was selling his tickets for forty dollars a WAP. Now he's selling them for four hundred dollars a WAP. And we'll see what happens with Will Smith. I asked my dad, do you think Will Smith's career is over? He said, no, because his this is an art. This is art and entertainment. Whatever he does in the future will determine whether or not he moves past this. If he keeps putting out good product, it'll be a forethought. And that's what it is. It's happened in sports. It's happened to people like Kobe Bryant. It's happened to Mike Tyson. It's happened to Muhammad Ali. He used that as an example. How Muhammad Ali was viewed one way. Years later, he's an icon. So we'll see what happens. All right, man, love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shaq Unfiltered. We're going to keep talking about it because it's out here and it's being talked about. That's what it is. Salute.